but once that day i had then i realized the world is totally changed as uh, somebody was talking about ethica so i do graduate from cornell university ethica mm -hmm. in hospitality management i am not a technology master and i don't want to be but i am a technology lover I would love to use the technology for the betterment of me myself and all my group who is related to me keeping that thing in mind I started learning the digital world so I made the first Pakistan senate session in April 2021 uh, 2020 sorry when this uh, lockdown came right, right after covid so started why yeah. yeah corona so this was the first ever and the only one session we had which is a virtual session so that was the start so when we came on the regular session first of all our chairman said that you become a digital senator now so from there i started and people ask me that what does it mean the digital senator when i ask my teacher so he said that before this cloud what does it the cloud mean cloud mean the f water full of water something and what does the i cloud mean i cloud mean they full of data yes. so it is same senator is the member of the senate and digital senator is full of data full of technology and i want to love love to do something for my nation for my youngsters to do Uh, this country a real digital world well, we're very honored to have you here and thank you for that story applause please i'll ask you later what your favorite netflix show is but we'll save that for the end um we've talked today about pakistan's vision for a digital pakistan advanced by the ministry of it and telecom as well as the prime minister and yesterday i and a contingent from the bsv blockchain community met with your president to talk about his vision for advanced technology in this country what do you think your senators and your fellow lawmakers in Pakistan can do to actually help advance this vision at a practical level because that's the difficulty right we can have grand visions we love tech how do we help companies developers young people older people actually develop this technology to be used uh, my friend you have asked a very particular question which is these there are two different things one of one is the vision and second is the policy the rules the laws so while talking about the vision yes we do have our my prime minister my other fellow members of the parliamentarians but i'm sorry to say up till now we don't have the policy which is the real in the real direction mm -hmm. what i believe what policy should be for the digital pakistan i have already recommended in that my youngsters should provide the opportunity to be the part of that to make money from the digital world and if we say that we are putting ban on it it means we don't know how to regulate so my perception which was before and now after getting the experience my strong view point is that we should not stop we should not ban any activity any app either we should make the laws we should make the rules and with those we should regulate the things um, some countries have a national blockchain strategy yeah. uh, it's one of the suggestions i made uh, in our president's meeting yesterday uh, do you think pakistan should take through the process of trying to create a national blockchain strategy and if so who do you think should do that definitely we need that because all the problems which we have right now either that is irregularities at different places working on the uh, organizations even the bribery financial problems all solution the solution for all is blockchain right. knowing this thing and especially after having this today's session Uh, i'm really convinced more that everyone straight away says as even even today 
most of the people in the parliament they says blockchain means cryptocurrency blockchain mean bitcoin so very sorry to say today you have described there are many other uses which uh, many nations on the globe they are availing so why not we should enjoy the same facility of the technology for my nation what do you think the senate in particular could do to help advance uh, a creation of a national blockchain strategy for Pakistan? No, actually, uh, again, there is, we are uh, not so far, mm -hmm. but as we were just two years back, because I try, I took this uh, as my motive, and uh, in the last one and a half year, I made, I convinced, take on board 70 to 80 parliamentarians mm -hmm. from both the House, Senate, and National Assembly. I took them on my digital senator show, I convinced them that we can't live without adopting the today's technology. So I hope, inshallah, in the coming era, we will make some policy like that, which would be the policy of today, in which the technology people can have the benefits and they can move on freely. And I think it will take, you know, leadership from some of your ministries, such as the Ministry of IT and Telecom. Yeah, actually, as far as Prime Minister is concerned, on, or the Ministry of IT, Telecom, and even Science and Technology, everybody is willing to do something. Okay. They would love to do something, but still, there is uh, a block of people, a group of people, they are creating problems and hurdles, and they don't want this uh, cryptocurrency or what we call, I, I, I always talk about it and again I am telling now till today there is no law, no, as a lawmaker, as a legislature, having all the research which stop cryptocurrency business in Pakistan. But there is the legitimate way, whatever we do we should have a legitimate way and if we make crypto money in a le legitimate way we can exp ex we can expense from there and we can declare it if it is a declare money no one can stop us till today yes according to the uh, recent last week order of one court in which the court said only one thing even they did not ban the cryptocurrency i have gone through the uh, decision of the court they just said to make the policy for regulation make the propose the legislation how to legislate regulate the cryptocurrency that's what it is yeah, and a lot of countries around the world are looking at the it the same way it is we focus a lot on the data use of blockchain because that's all a blockchain is it's a new form of data record keeping system um, as a lover of technology, digital senator, uh, what are some of the cool, fascinating things you want to see that can be used by ordinary people, including the young people of Pakistan? What, what do you want to see? Trust me, my friend, I was sitting there and I was when uh, the things were, because uh, this is what my Pentium here, it is P4 or P5. At one time, I'm thinking about different multitasking. That's what I always do. So I was trying to uh, visualize that how can I use, uh, and again, for a businessman, if the return is good, cost doesn't matter, whatever the cost is. That's what my belief is. So I was calculating, being a, running a group of companies, as I said, I'm having about 15 companies, and there are 2,200 workers with us, no partner, no bank loan, no investment from anybody, because I believe we are one family and we all work like family because I'm the only son so I uh, keep them as my partner so the people are working with me for the last 35 years S just I was thinking there being a policy maker being a monitoring having a monitor uh, all the system so how can I use so there are many many ways in which a private sector an or ordinary company can use but it depends how it comes down so my suggestion to you is that being going to the public sector it's better you should po point out the private sector as well mm -hmm. having a good uh, uh, number of people and the entries and the data what they are using because the with this uh, blockchain what i believe that i can change my 
MIS, which is Management Information System, mm -hmm. and we can have the, the refined uh, reports which can easily be done through using this. I don't know whether I'm correct or not. You can think, yeah, highlight can. it. Let me ask you a few specific Please. examples. We'll play you know, rapid fire quiz game. Uh, do you, uh, do you, uh, would you like to vote on a blockchain? Would you like your votes recorded on a blockchain? Sorry? What would you that? like votes to be recorded on a blockchain? Yeah, it is. I, 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 we can. You, you would, you if would like it is that. easily done, why not? Yeah. We okay. can even opt. Okay. Our company can come step okay. ahead. Okay. And I know how to handle the things. Yeah. What about COVID vaccination records or COVID vaccination certificate or test certificates? Would you like to see that and use that on a blockchain? Yes, I, I do uh, agree on one thing, but uh, it depends. If we enter in that sector, maybe there are few uh, organization without mentioning that because I am also grown up in this, uh, uh, in this community. So I know the hidden factors of this. So maybe they will stop you. They will not allow to you. Yeah. That's what my answer is. Have you bought any NFTs? I tried, but you I tried? didn't. But oh. my son uh, uh, is doing. Uh, it. Uh, does your son? But I son would uh, love to, as a, a friend here from German Germany, Mr. Raphael. Uh, I think the friend is there. He said, why don't you make your NFT? I well, said, okay. I was just going to offer that. I'm going to take a picture of you or with you today, and then I'm going to have one of the BSV companies mint an NFT of you on BSV, and we'll, maybe we'll auction it off for a charitable And one purpose. thing I tell you, as my <laughs> IPO is registered, I'll show you mm -hmm. the registered certificate as the digital senator. Mm. And one more thing, let another thing coming up. You should put that, that certificate on the blockchain. Sorry? You should put your digital senator certificate on the blockchain. I can. For posterity. I will. Yeah. That's no problem. I'll help you so with that. So one thing is that I'm trying to do uh, after having uh, this NFT mm -hmm. because uh, it comes just few months back in the community. Otherwise, all the digital people were knowing this thing, but ordinary people don't. But now I think it goes to the universities as well. Mm -hmm. And especially what I heard uh, a guy from... Uh, some university Pakistani has sell in 69,000 uh, uh, pounds or dollar some NFT. So after that the things are coming up and many universities have started uh, this type of activity which is good. And I'll op uh, opt myself if uh, you or any other friend want to. Yes, we can, no problem. Okay, fantastic. Uh, would you make an avatar of yourself to put on the blockchain so it can be in the metaverse? After watching yours, Yes, there is in my mind because I know what is metaverse mm. and I know the future of metaverse yes. according to my and what I believe is this, this is something which we call uh, before it was illusion or before it was uh, uh, you can do the things by human Wi-Fi mm. which is uh, a belief of one community which is spiritual community because I I stayed with them, I learned something from them. So this metaverse is re uh, near to that. Hmm. And it will be, yes, I'm pretty yes. sure. Uh, yeah. How much time it will take it is, but um, in another few w years, this metaverse as a word, techno technological word, it will be there. Well, since you had the first, or led the first Zoom remote meeting uh, or assembly of, of your uh, fellow lawmakers, maybe I'll challenge you to create the first metaverse session of Senate and the Parliament <laughs> one day in the future. Let's That'll hope. probably be a few Let's years. Hope. Otherwise, few years. otherwise what, what my plan mm -hmm. is uh, mm -hmm. that, uh, again, because uh, I can't uh, disclose that thing now, uh, that is under process of my IPO, mm -hmm. and once it's done, that would be something big for our community at least, yeah. that I would love to, that would be a place where metaverse technology can be used. So you're also a businessman. Um, do you foresee yourself ever building businesses on the blockchain? Or you Never. Building, no? No, uh, I couldn't find uh, some, somebody who can uh, make the proposal for this. Mm -hmm. And uh, among people sitting here, if they want to do it, I can help or I can join them mm -hmm. with open arms, no problem. So on that note, um, how can people reach you, engage with you in your office to see how you can help them advance their goals in blockchain and technology more broadly? I'm the only parliamentarian in the country which is round the clock available because 
I am the handler of all my social media by myself. Oh, really? Oh. I do all my social media, and wherever, if you can see my uh, mobile phone, there would be all apps, even the likey. <laughs> and well, <laughs> once this uh, TikTok is stopped here, banned uh. by one um, the, the government and one organization, PTA. So I made that open two times TikTok. So I become the president of TikTokers Club of Pakistan. That is. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. Do you, I, I, do you have I the jiggy post, dance thing? I convinced on TikTok? president yeah. to make TikTok. President mm. has made three, four TikTok. Oh, wow. So you can see I took him. Wow. Wow. Even prime minister has seen my TikToks. Yeah. yeah. Well, the politicians in Pakistan are apparently way cooler than the politicians in the United States. No, on I think uh, <laughs> they are. They are more. Uh, they are more professionals and their their responsibilities are different Just and they have the team of researchers yes our problem is we don't have that much team of researchers so our priorities are different okay um, we have a few minutes left Please. anyone have any fun questions for the digital senator if you yell them out I'll I'm repeat open. them on the microphone any fun cool tech questions for our digital senator here anyone no, if they are shy. If they're shy. Yeah. They're shy. All okay. right. Well, then we will wrap up by thanking you for your time and your leadership, even though you didn't fully plan it on technology, because sometimes it takes someone visible to get people paying attention to the future of technology. And as we're ending, I do want to ask you, because I am a Netflix, you know, user myself. What What was your favorite Netflix show during lockdown? What did you binge watch, Digital Senator? House of Cards. House of Cards. Uh, that's getting a, that's, that then, was like so five then, years then ago. Then the legitimate, you know? <laughs> legitimate survivor. Oh, legitimate survivor. Fantastic. Well, let's all give a big round of applause to Thank the you. one, the only digital senator of Pakistan. Thank you. Thank you very much.